This is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is... Catherine! This video will cover Stage 6, Clock Tower, 3rd Floor. Hey there once again, we're back with our Catherine walkthrough. We are at the, the landing for... right before the floor number 3 of Stage 6, the Clock Tower. And hey, we got some new faces over here in the little sheep, uh, sheep herd. And that is a familiar red hat, I believe I know you, friend. You sound like Orlando. Voice. That hair. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, I, I think I might know you. Never mind. Oh, Orlando, how do you wind up here? Uh, yeah. Things are getting tough around here. You can't always rise to every situation. But you can only fall to the level of your training. Like what? Try this one on for size. Allow me to explain. Bombs away. After activating a bomb block, quickly move it away from the area. If you push the bomb block off an edge before it explodes, the blocks around you will not be damaged. Well, did that seem useful to you? No. Have you seen this one? It seemed painfully obvious to me. I need to explain. Sproin. When you oh, so you can move spring blocks. Can Again, that seems pretty obvious. Blocks. You can move spring blocks. Nice. All okay, right, what's got it. That sounds pretty. I expect nothing. Let's talk to Mr. Journalist with the glasses. They say it's about cheating, but let's see. So what's really going on? Have you cheated? Uh, yeah. There's a survey saying that 70% of men in relationships cheat. That makes me a minority. Hey, I'm in that minority so you know, too. 40% of women cheat. That is a lot. It's almost oh, half. Really? A study claims that people attempt to create relationships. That's like saying one out of every two girlfriends you get will cheat on you. Previous <laughs> romantic relationships? That's what people are yearning for when they search for love. Okay, so what? Huh? Er, I'm sorry. Though I guess that statistic is a lot worse for uh, females with 70% of men cheating. Wow. You see what it looks like outside? Wow. Do you want some yummy juice? Hey, uh... Take one sheep and two blocks and crush him! <laughs> sheep juice! Use some wool that's flavoring! Wool! Man, it wouldn't be so bad going crazy if I knew I could get a badass spiked hammer. Let's head into the rocket ship confessional. Huh. Seems you're getting used to the machine-based traps as well. Hey, what's up with those sheep that attacked me? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. They don't exist in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Are you able to show all of the contents of your cell phone to your significant other? <laughs> yep. So that's the one you chose. <laughs> oh, yes. You're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on, your trials will get longer and longer. But you're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. Blast off. Many other many cheating people are, are there out in the video game world. It's not bad. It's a, that's probably the smallest, uh smallest percentage I've seen in a while. 
I guess people don't usually take incriminating pictures on their cell phones when they have girlfriends. Seems like the smart thing to do. It's a race against time on this long staircase. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your foot. All right, let's go. Stage six, clock tower, third floor. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? Edge. There we go. I remember what to do now. You gotta go around that. Okay. I'm glad I did did this at home because I remember that took me a long time to figure out. Okay. Got enough room here to do this another time if we have to. Right, we're gonna run all the way across this. Might as well use this to get rid of that ant. Oops. This is where it starts to get tricky. So if we go down here, go all the way around. It's clever. Alright. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Same deal here, we want to push these out, actually, yeah. We want to try to get on that side. Oh, that was close. But same deal, if we get out here, we can go all the way around. Or maybe not that way, but this way we can. Remember, we don't want us. Oh yeah, so we can't. We could have right, slid over there. Sit over there. Right, I got it. Right. Right. Okay, let's go right for the checkpoint. All right, so here we are at the checkpoint. We are going to ignore that book right now because I would much rather have this create a block. First, let's get rid of that ant. He won't be gone for long, though. He'll probably be back just to annoy us. You may be wondering what the hell I'm doing right now, but like I said before, there is a method to my madness. Even if I'm not sure right now what that method is. Oh, here we go. Here's my method. Right. Let's do this. Okay, now we're gonna start playing some Jenga. Got it! Alright! Another relatively painless, painless level. Here I go. So far, stage 6 has been easier than stage 2. Thanks for watching our walkthrough of Catherine. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.